family greetings welcome back to my channel i have a short comment to make i think it's only fair that i share this with the community because i don't know if everybody forgot it was maybe a year ago ice cube made a song called arrest the president okay now when ice cube made this song this is at the height of the anti-trump sentiment People were talking about black people being killed in the streets and Ice Cube made the song basically saying that Donald Trump is Russian intelligence, he needs to be arrested and the people have the evidence. And so when I saw Ice Cube in some headlines talking about a plan for black people and actually supporting Donald Trump and his platinum plan some alarm bells went off you know i wanted to figure out how somebody could make such a complete shift from actually calling for the president to be arrested to now supporting donald trump and in the interviews he basically is refusing to admit to any fault that donald trump has had okay i saw a recent interview he did with the sisters vivica fox and others and basically the sisters were berating him for supporting Donald Trump and basically making a complete shift in his opinion of the Republicans and their treatment of black people. You know, Ice Cube actually, when I saw him in the interview, I can tell that he was not acting naturally. It almost gave me the impression that he had some cue cards in front of him directing him on what to say. You know, because even though he spoke about some of the realities of the plight of black Americans, he still made some comments that were reminiscent of Republican talking points. You know, in particular, he said that there were 7,000 black elected representatives in America since the 60s and that they basically were largely ineffectual. You know, and it seemed to me that these sound like the same claims that Donald Trump was making in his rallies, you know. And I listened to the plan, and if you listen to the actual plan Donald Trump spoke about, it doesn't call for any direct cash injection. It spoke about putting funds into programs that they associate with minorities, okay, like social services, education, public schools, housing, things of that nature, and access to employment. You know, so when I listen to the plan, it doesn't actually call for any direct injection of cash into the community or into the hands of the people, you know. But just as I said in my previous video about Donald Trump and the attempts to influence the black vote, Ice Cube turned out to be one of these people that they actually enlisted and probably paid significant sums of money to show up and try to sway the vote with like two to three weeks to, uh, before the election. Okay, now the election is days away, but he actually came like maybe about two to three weeks ago and started to speak about this plan. You know, and I don't know, Ice Cube is a person who made a lot of money, but it seems to me that when he comes on these interviews, he's carrying out a minstrel show. You know, he's dressing like he's on the set of Friday with a do-rag on his head, you know, dressed in more like urban attire. And when he makes public appearances, he doesn't dress this way, you know. So it's just given me the impression that we're witnessing one of many facades that people will use to actually influence our opinions. All right, but we shall wait and see if there's any substance to it. But as far as what I can see, it seems to me that something is wrong with this picture. All right. But family, let me know your thoughts in the comments below about all of these dynamics. One love.